Welcome to the Top Team. I'm Richard. I'm one of the growth marketers at Top, and I'm here today with another growth marketer, John. How are you doing today, John? Doing very well. It's Monday. I'm getting into things. I'm getting interviewed. It's awesome. Yeah, and you got the mustache from your ski weekend, just crushing it yeah. on every level. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. For those of you who don't know me, usually I have a beard, now I have a mustache. It's a whole new look. Loving it. Um, you know, Sudeikis started it and now you're rocking it and, you know, soon enough, everybody else will be too. So, um, so you've been a tough for a long time. You're like one of the third or fourth people here. You're the second overall growth marketer. What has like experiencing all that growth at tough been like for you? Yeah. So I started out in April, 2020, right as the pandemic was taking off my career with tough was taking off. Um, and I think just from like a personal standpoint, like I joined with li- little to no experience uh, with agencies or working at one. I'd been in-house at e-commerce and, and tech startups prior to that. Um, and, you know, I've grown a lot since then. Uh, I didn't know too much about SEO. I, I, honestly, I didn't know the difference between Tag Manager and Search Console. Um, and I wasn't like testing landing pages at scale or really doing any of the day-to-day stuff I'm doing now. And now, uh, as like a growth marketer, senior growth marketer at Tough, um, you know, I'm running demand gen funnels, working across creative PPC and, and social and SEO teams. Um, and I've just been able to develop as a marketer in, in ways that I just wouldn't be able, have been able to, um, had I not been at Tough and kind of working, um, when Tough was, you know, a smaller team than we are now. And it's like 30 plus people or so. Um, so just on a personal level, it's been really awesome. And then also like watching Tough grow alongside myself growing as a marketer has been amazing. Um, it used to just be Ellen and I as, as uh, growth marketers. Um, now we have Richard and, and Kristen and, um, you know, all these great people working on the accounts. Um, and, you know, we've been able to bring in creative and, and bring in uh you know, SEO, SEO content strategy, like a whole other level. Um, and it's just been really awesome to see us like grow and develop as a startup. So, um, I've loved it. That's, that's so crazy to me to hear that you didn't, you really even know the difference between tag manager and search console when you first got here. Cause like, you're like the senior growth marketer, man. I'm like, that's, that's yeah. hard for me to believe. Didn't, didn't know. And like, yeah, I just didn't play in the Google framework. Like I do now, there's just no opportunity. They like, the startups I was at, they weren't using Tag Manager and definitely didn't have Search Console. We, maybe we had analytics set up, you know, but pretty uh, like low level marketing. Cool. So you also have like a lot of really cool hobbies. I know we talked about like vinyl here and there. You're also like super into mountain biking. Um, so what's like your dream mountain bike trip? Yeah, uh, I go out to Moab a lot. I ride mountain bikes there, but recently I've been on like road biking touring kick and there's actually this great ride I found that's from Berlin, Germany to Copenhagen, um, on like a dedicated bike path route thing. It's only like two or 300 miles. Um, so fairly, fairly short in the grand scheme of touring, of bike touring. Um, but yeah, it would be a like really fun trip to do. There's a lot of like towns to stop in along the way and like they kind of have like an ecosystem developed around this path. So it's like something I'm looking forward to and not sure if I'm going to make it happen this summer, but I'm, I'm hoping maybe the next couple of years I can get around to it. That sounds pretty awesome. And then on the vinyl recording, uh, vinyl record stuff, um, what's the last record you bought or, or what's your favorite record that you've bought recently? Yeah, the last record that I bought is also my most favorite record that I bought recently. It's called King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard, which is a great band. Check them out. They put about like five albums per year. They're crazy from a production standpoint, but they're, this album I got is them live in Brussels in like 2019. Um, and yeah, they, they play like, some of it can be like thrash metal and then like the next song will sound like an animal collective song. So you'll be like, what? Is this the same band? That's how cool they are. I like them a lot. I feel like uh, Jesse's recommended them to me as well. So I feel like I have to check them out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesse and I hit it. Really, our, our uh, relationship started when we found out we both loved King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard. So just check them out. I love it. Um, last thing I have for you. Uh, I just have always respected you. You were my onboarding buddy uh, at Tough. Uh, you were my skills interview. 
uh, I think I've learned a lot from you as a growth marketer because you just have like a lot of confidence, not only in like yourself, but also, just also your skills. Um, and I think that also applies to like your aesthetic. Like, so um, going from professional to personal here, um, you always like most, not today, but most always have your tattoos, visible meetings. Um, you have lots of cool artwork behind you. Um, your office, you know, often has like really decorative plants and such in it. Um, is there anything in particular about that that like stands out to you that has a lot of meaning or, or, or any thought behind that? Yeah, so I've got this uh, piece of art right here. It's called One by One. It's done by like a local print artist in, in Denver called Merlin. Um, and she has a print shop called Odd Ones Press. Um, and honestly, like, it's kind of like a uniform, uh, like very organized, like print. And like, sometimes on calls, like when there's a lot of information coming at me and I'm like having to organize, I'll kind of like glance over at that and be like, okay, one by one, like we're going to knock this out. It will be fine. You know? So it's kind of like a fun thing to have. I also have this guy over here as well, uh, which is not me. I cannot ride a my motorcycle, nor can I wheelie, wheelie very well. It's actually Ellen. She's very good at wheel doing wheelies. Um, but yeah, I think this is more for, for glam and, and vibe style. And this is more for, uh, you know, relaxation and, and calm. So I think it's important to have both. So that's, that's very cool. Well, thank you so yeah. much, John. Thank you so much for all you do at Tough. Uh, you know, Tough would not be the same without you. So thanks for hopping on today. Thanks, Richard.